Hi, I'm Liz Moser and I'm a Mayo Clinic Certified Wellness Coach. What are the habits you want to add or subtract from your life that keep eluding you despite your best efforts? Or what's that habit on your nightly checklist you keep circling instead of crossing off because you completed it? Well, whether it's meditation, journaling, exercising, or simply adding um, more fruits and veggies to your diet, What's worked for me is a tool Jerry Seinfeld popularized. His foolproof method to add a habit is his calendar system. Seinfeld found that what motivates him to write jokes every day is a yearly calendar he hangs on the wall. Every day that he writes jokes, he marks that day with an X. When Seinfeld misses a day, he circles it. Seinfeld stays motivated because he doesn't want to break the chain of Xs. This motivational system appears at first glance to be too simplistic to work. However, it's been my ace in the hole habit building tool. Seinfeld's system jibes with James Clear's writing about habit tracking that he writes in Atomic Habits. Clear stipulates that habit tracking is powerful because it leverages multiple laws of behavior change. It makes habits obvious, attractive, and satisfying. Obvious, the mere act of tracking behavior can spark the urge to change it. Habit tracking keeps you honest. When the evidence is right in front of you, you're less likely to lie to yourself. Attractive, the most effective form of motivation is progress. When we get a signal that we are moving forward, we become more motivated to continue down the path. And third, satisfying. Tracking can be its own reward. It is satisfying to cross an item off your to-do list. Habit tracking keeps your eye on the ball. You are focused on the process rather than the result. Some points to remember when creating new habits. Prioritize. Remember the adage, if you have more than three priorities, you have no priorities. In other words, stay focused. Perhaps you aren't accomplishing your goal because you have five other more important priorities. Maybe. Start small. You want to systematize before you optimize. Creating the when and where you'll perform a habit, I will meditate first thing in the morning in my sauna, for instance, is more important than the length of time. And add one habit at a time. Research shows that habit building works best one habit at a time. Okay, so the history of my calendar. Several years ago, my morning meditation started to slip. For me, the slow death of a habit is if I start buying in the idea that, yeah, sure, I can do it later in the day. No, most likely I will not do it. So what happens first gets done, right? The challenge is to judiciously choose what that first action or first several actions will be. Most of my calendar challenges were for 10 weeks because 10 weeks or 70 days is more than the average of 66 days it takes to create a habit. Some example of my calendar challenges are, I've got them right here. Here we go, this one, February to April 2018, meditate first thing in the morning as opposed to putting it off, right? (laughs) March to May, Um, 10 minute morning workout. I did two different routines. And I'll do, I'll do a blog or a blog about those little mini routines in the future. Okay, June through August. Um, wake at 5 a.m. and sleep on my back. Oh, lots of X's there. Um, then also June through August, I did a sauna first thing in the morning followed by a quick 10-minute workout routine. Um, in September, I did a 14-day no TV challenge. And then at the same time, I started this no caffeine challenge where I decreased my caffeine amount slowly uh, each week. And then I did six weeks without it. October through December, I increased my meditation by one minute every week from 10 minutes to 20 minutes. And here we go. Oh, last summer. Um, I read two of Dr. Amen's books on brain health. I have one of them right here, Brain Warrior's Way. I broke all my rules and made a challenge for multiple behavior changes. Awake at 4 a.m. instead of 5 a.m., increase my exercise, uh, and then no gluten, soy, or corn. There you go. So 
So have you tried a calendar challenge to assist you with either adding or removing a habit from your life? Or have you successfully used another habit building system? Please let me know. Thanks for watching this vlog. I'm Liz Moser, a Mayo Clinic certified wellness coach. If you have any questions about this vlog, or if you have any questions about health or wellness, uh, please email me at lizm at lizmosercoaching.com. Bye for now.